All right, starting off first here with a 1992. Now, we're not going to find something like this in a coin roll, but it has been double struck. Second strike being 75% off center. This Lincoln cent ended up selling for around $75. It does have damage to it, but still a very nice double strike there. Now, here's a 1995 doubled die obverse. This coin is graded by NGC at a mint state 67 red. So it has a nice grade. The coin has doubling on the front of the coin. You can't really see it from a distance, but here are some images that you want to look for on your 1995 Lincoln cents. So if you go to the bank, sort out all the different dated pennies that you find, put all your 1995s in a pile, you put them underneath the coin microscope, and this is what you're looking for, the doubling on the lettering. So I have one of these in my collection. You know, 1995 pennies are easy coins to find in pocket change or in coin rolls, but finding the double die is going to be the hard part. So that's what you have to search for underneath the coin microscope. I have those microscopes available on couchcollectibles.com. This penny sold for over $125. Now here's a 1997 D mint mark. This coin has been struck on a foreign planchet. So the Lincoln cent design struck onto a foreign planchet. And this coin ended up selling for over $135. This penny is graded by PCGS at a mint state 65 red. Now this next coin is very interesting. This is pretty valuable as well. It's graded by PCGS at a mint state 65 red also. And it has a fold over double strike. Uh, so look at that, man. The whole penny folded over there, double struck, amazing type of mint error there. This penny sold for $960. Here's a 1999 D mint mark that has an obverse die cap, which we can clearly see in the images displayed. Now some won't be as extreme as this. This is a deep obverse die cap graded by PCGS at a mint state 64 red. So the coin grading scale goes up to 70. This is at a 64. It's a very cool mint error. This coin sold for over $400. Here's a 2000 Lincoln cent that has been double struck. So from a distance, you might not really be able to tell, uh, but if you look at the edges here, you can actually see the lettering. Even under the word Liberty, you'll see the lettering from the reverse. Uh, so it's a flip over, double struck, and flipped over. Uh, so you'll see the obverse design double struck here on the reverse around the rim of the coin. Uh, not like the normal double strikes that we typically look at. Some of them are very, very noticeable. This one not as noticeable. So always inspect your coins closely underneath those microscopes. This coin sold for over $114. Now here's a nice uh, example of one that you can see it much more clearly. It's a 2000 Lincoln cent that has been double struck and flipped over. Uh, Met State 62 red grade by Annex here. Again, you can see the design from the reverse here on the obverse and uh, the obverse here on the reverse. Uh, so this coin ended up selling for $180. Here is a 2000 Lincoln cent that has been double struck and it also has a really large indent there. This coin, graded by Annex, sold for over $200. Man, that's a nice mint error there. Here is a 2000 Lincoln cent that has been broad struck and has a partial brockage. Uh, this coin is graded by Annex as well at a mint state 64 red. And this penny ended up selling for around 90 US dollars. Now here's a very expensive coin. This coin sold for over $1,000. And it's because it is the Lincoln cent design that was struck onto a Roosevelt dime. So a double denomination here, graded and authenticated by PCGS at immense state 67. Thousand bucks for that penny or dime. <laughs> this is, uh, we, can, we can call it 11 cent piece. How about that? Uh, this is a 2001 reverse die cap taking place here that is graded at a mint state 63 red by Annex and this coin sold for over $155. Now these next coins sold together, they are a mated pair. Uh, it's been broad struck with a partial brockage, the 2001 Lincoln penny here graded by Annex. These two coins sold together for over $380. And those are some nice mint errors there. Now here's a 2001 where the Lincoln cent design was struck onto a 10 cent planchet. So different than the other uh, coin that we looked at, the other coin, the dime design was already on the planchet. So it was already, the dime was already created and the Lincoln cent design was struck on top of it. 
Uh, this case, it's uh, a blank 10 cent planchet where the Lincoln cent design has been struck onto a dime planchet. This coin sold for $660. Now here's a more modern coin. This is a 2015 D mint mark uh, Lincoln cent. This is the shield reverse and it's been struck onto a defective planchet which we can clearly see here in the images displayed. This coin ended up selling for over $550. Can you believe that? $550 for that mint error there. Here's another 2015 Lincoln Scent, of course, with the shield reverse. And we have a uh, split die here on the obverse. You can see that going all the way, that die crack going all the way through uh, the Lincoln Scent there in the middle, man. That is awesome. Uh, this coin is graded at a mint state 65 red. And this coin sold for over $220. $222 to be exact. So very nice mint error there. Now here's a no dated Lincoln scent that is graded by PCGS. It is a mirror brockage. Uh, so we won't see an obverse on this coin. You'll see two reverses there. It's almost like a double sided coin, right? Uh, this penny ended up selling for over $1,100. $1,100 coin there. Now here's another no dated Lincoln scent that has been struck by a capped die. That is nice. You'll see the reverse looks normal here on the obverse is where, uh, you know, that die cap's taking place. Uh, this coin sold for over $110. Here's another no dated Lincoln cent where it has a reverse capped die and the obverse is misaligned, graded by NGC. This coin ended up selling for over $225. One more no dated coin here. This coin is super rare and valuable. This coin sold for $8,700 and it's because it is a Lincoln scent design that was actually struck onto a washer, a metal washer or washer, washer, however you prefer to say it. That's why it's got the hole in the middle. That is just uh, an incredible mint error there. This coin sold, like I said, for over $8,000. $1,000. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.